guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather B. Dantra Diva. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you guys are missing on quite a bit of stuff. One of my last videos, it says positivity and how to do your own work. Um, there's a giveaway inside there, guys, and it ends Friday. So why not join more giveaways that are coming along? Make sure that you guys have subscribed if you want to get in on the giveaways because I like to give back to my subscribers and that's where it goes. Um, my giveaways are USA only. Um... For, if I'd say in the giveaway it's USA only, then that's how that works. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go from there. So if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. Don't forget to like videos that you guys like. Um, I've been dropping more videos regularly, so definitely keep an eye out. I've made just about almost 700 videos. So when I hit, guys, 10,000 subscribers, so right now I'm a little over 7,000. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, guys, I'm making a kit Full of amazing stuff that only I use. So we all know that, that I use DentureFit, I use Dr. B's, I use Fix It on Ultramax, and all that. So once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a massive giveaway and giving away some great ass stuff. Can't deny that. I do have a second channel inside the mind of a diva. Um, you can go there and learn medical stuff. There's no denture related unless I'm going through a problem. So it's medical stuff, autoimmune skincare, makeup, how to do makeup which is the best makeup for your skin tone. I'm vlogging, it's everything over there. It's something totally separate from here um, and go from there. Sometimes I just like to vlog. There's only so much denture shit to talk about, guys. And sometimes I revamp it because not everybody's gonna go through all almost 700 videos I have. Um, but I revamp some of my videos, but mainly sticking over to Inside the Mind of a Diva because it broads me out to do more things. Just the way that works. So, I want to let you guys know that I will be doing a giveaway inside this video, but you have to watch the videos fully through. Any of my giveaways, watch my videos fully through, and it shows that I, on my end, that you've seen it fully through. And then, you know, you follow the rest of the directions of the giveaway, and then you get entered. But it does show me if somebody watches, like, say, two minutes of it, or three minutes of it. My analytics shows me a bunch of stuff, so keep in mind, guys, that it does show me a lot more than you do. Um, actually, more than it did when I first started. It actually gives us way more information now on our subscribers than it first did. So, my video I did the other day, which I'm surprised not many people watched it. Definitely should watch it if you're a denture wearer. Um, because it teaches you how to be more... What's the word I'm looking for? Have more confidence with dentures. But so many people start out with dentures, guys. Everybody's always like... And it's not just scared of surgery because, you know, that's normal. Everybody's going to feel every damn emotion, excited that they won't have cavities anymore, but, you know, nervous because they don't know what to expect. That's why I make videos so you're fully aware. Um, like, surgery is pretty damn easy. If you get put to sleep, it's even more easier. But I just had Novocaine for mine. The whole thing is, guys, if... Mindset is everything. And, you know, I tell people this all the time, and I feel like nobody really takes it seriously unless they see it for themselves. If you go into this reading every negative comment online, which don't do that, everybody will tell you that. Even when you have kids, you say, don't believe the stuff you read online. Don't believe the freaking negativity. Ignore the stuff. Even most YouTubers don't read comments because we get a lot of hate. We do. I think people are just bored. Who the hell knows? I don't take shit seriously with them. But to have a good quality of life with anything, you got to put the effort in. It's going to take work. It's not easy to get used to hard acrylic in your mouth, but it does work over time. As gums shrink, the top denture goes up and the bottom denture goes down. So it gives you more space in your mouth in general. But when people say they have mouth sores and they don't wear their denture, you get mouth sores because your gums are weak. And if you wear your denture more, you know, your gums toughen up, become stronger. Mouth sores don't really happen unless, you know, they're digging into a certain spot. Then you do an adjustment, it goes away. But when you first get dentures, you get mouth sores because it's either digging into certain spots, they could be too tight, or because, you know, also you get mouth sores if your denture's too loose. So many people don't understand how that could happen. If you have hard acrylic like, banging around, moving around like crazy madman, or just up and down fidgeting in one spot, it's going to rub up against it and cause a mouth sore. You know, soft free lines are, are so needed, guys. And, and I'm not kidding. The number one answer to everybody that I speak to so many people a day. We'll just say in the last two years, I had to have spoken over 
at least 100,000 people, if not more. In the last two years of me doing this, it's a lot of people. And it all boils down to the same thing, soft reline. Even people were like, oh, they're not, there's not a whole lot of space. It's only a little bit. I'm like, but it's still moving around. Moving around still going to cause mouse sores. They have to be completely in place. That's why I like to use Dentrofit. You know, somebody said Permasoft is like Dentrofit. No, it's not. I did that. It's not at all. It's just like every other dentist one. There's only one denture fit, and it's a soft silicone reliner. Soft silicone reliners are super comfortable. So the only time I ever really get a mouse sore is when, like, say my gum shrunk, my bottom denture goes down and it digs into certain spots, like this one right here. Just do an adjustment, put a new soft reliner in. But it's so comfortable, I don't feel the hard acrylic in my mouth. If denture fit didn't exist, and, like, I got stuck with using relining my whole life, yeah, I don't think my denture... Journey would have been as good as it is now. I'm the type of person that if I see a problem, I fix it. Because why would I want to keep feeling it? And I really don't like to get adjustments from my dentist only because who the hell wants to wait days of mouth pain or weeks of mouth pain because they can't get you in to have so much pain. So that's why I like to use a Dr. B's Cleaning Up Paste. Dr. B's Cleaning Up Paste is all natural. It's the only cleaning denture product you can actually use in your mouth and your denture. Yes, you can use it on your real teeth, but it doesn't have fluoride, so you can always use a fluoride mouthwash um, if you wanted the fluoride extra for it. But when I had a partial, if people watched me from back in day, I had a partial, and I had these front teeth, I would use clean up paste. It helps with dry mouth, it has essential oils, it helps heal mouth sores. Amazingly, keeps your mouth clean. I don't, I know a lot of people when they get used to their denture, they don't clean their denture much. Or they don't even clean their gums and only their denture. Your gums, to promote healthy healing and good blood flow, brushing your gums and like massaging them with your soft bristle brush, going around them promotes healthy healing. And it actually can prevent bone loss or less bone loss than it would be if somebody didn't do that. So, healthy gums, healthy denture, and then the Dr. B's liquid crystals. That's my favorite of all time. Because everything else on the market, I'm trying to find something. In my, I don't have much denture shit to show when it comes to those. But the tabs, they're only odor-causing bacteria. So it's like freshening the breath. That's it. It doesn't kill straph. A uh, straph. Holy crap. I put them all together. Strap and staph. And there's many different kinds of both of them. Antisomias. It kills E. coli. It kills so many other things. It's the only thing on the market that actually kills harmful bad bacteria besides Denture Clean. Uh, denture Fit that came out with Denture Clean. Um, it kills half of what Dr. B's does. So, I mean, if you're using Denture Fit like I do, and like say if I run on liquid crystals, I use the Denture Clean. It one, it's meant for Denture Fit. Um, even though the liquid crystals does not harm my Denture Fit at all, guys. Not at all. I've been using Denture Fit for a couple of years now. Never has harmed it. But so many people give up on their denture journey. If they get a mouse sore, like I can never wear my denture. Or because I have a mouse sore, I can't wear it instead heels. You know how many more mouse sores you're going to get? You have to wear your denture, take it out at nighttime. Nighttime helps heal the mouse sores and the gums and lets them rest and takes off the stress off your mouth joints and jaw. If you don't wear your denture, or you don't wear it much, your denture journey, point blank, is going to suck. I know some people that only use it for cosmetic purposes, and I'm like, you know how bad it is, right, it's to, like, eat without your teeth? Your jaw, your gums, that are delicate, are not meant to have food smashing on them, which is why we had teeth to begin with, to chew food. But... You can actually get more infections. So to, it might be hard in the beginning to get used to a denture because we all had to. Nobody popped their denture in and said, wow, I was used to it here. Boom, they're totally secure. Never had an ounce of gum shrinkage. No, absolutely not. Everybody struggles in the beginning. Everybody does. But if you don't stay strong and push through it, you don't give up, then you will have 
a better denture journey. It's like when you first get a new job. You don't know how to do that new job or especially how that office does that specific job. Like say you go into billing and medical stuff. Every place, every health insurance place, every medical facility does it all differently. So you have to get trained. Do you just give up and walk out your job and be like, I can't do this? No. One, we need money. We need to support our family and ourselves. And that's just our career that we chose. So you learn. The more you learn, the more, you know, intelligent you become in that field. The more, you know, strength and confidence you have in that field. And you don't give up. In the beginning, it might be hard because you're learning something new, of course. But the more you do it, the better you get. It's repetition. The better you get, the more you do it. Same with dentures. The more you keep them in your mouth, the more you have a routine, the more you keep fighting and keep going with one day at a time. Fix your problems as they come. Denture gets loose, soft reliner. You have pain up here, adjustment. You just keep going as you go. And then you start to become a pro at doing your own soft reliners, your own adjustments. All this is done if you don't have a warranty. If you have a warranty, your dentist has to do your work or you can void your warranty. But if you're doing your own stuff, you become stronger and better at it. It does suck when dentists only allow, like, say, two soft relines in a year. That won't do anything because people think that adhesive is supposed to work even when dentures lose. No. Adhesive is meant to hold fitting dentures in tight place. If it's a little loose, not if it's super loose. Because when you have a gap inside your, you know, denture, you have space in between them, between, like, your, say, roof of your mouth and your denture. You have a space in between, water comes in, mouth's adhesive, boom, doesn't work anymore. So soft reliners are needed. They should be done every month or two. Um, and you'll notice when you get a soft reline, especially the first year with dentures, you'll see how loose it becomes within a few days. Because your gums shrink so ridiculously too much that it's like hard to keep up with. And you do get frustrated. But when you're already preparing, you've gone through all the rough and everything that you went through in the last few months. Now, all of a sudden, it starts to get better and easier. And you're able to eat. It all comes down with security of denture. When your denture is in place, you can talk, eat, whatever you want, do whatever you want. Because you have a denture that doesn't move. Like mine, I don't use adhesive. I don't use adhesive. But it holds tight in place because the denture fit, correct soft reline, fills in the gum shrinkage. Even with permanent dentures, your gums are still going to shrink and bone loss occurs. But it's very mild compared to the first year. First year sucks. It really does. I always tell people, if you have immediate dentures, hard reline them out a year, even though you're going to get your permanent denture. So if something happens to your permanent denture, you still have a backup. And do know when you do go from immediate to permanent denture, it's an adjustment because your per your immediate denture is a lot bigger. It's the shape of your mouth with teeth in. So when you go to a permanent denture, that's the correct fitting of what your mouth is now. You could basically put your permanent denture inside your immediate. But I feel like people give up so quick and so easily. And I wish I could be there to help everybody. I wish I could physically be there and give everybody motivation and confidence, but you've got to find it within. It's within you. Motivation's in you. Determination and strength is within all of us. And at some point or one day out of the week, we all feel defeated. But we keep going. Because the only way to become a pro at something is if you practice, just like if you're an athlete. The only way to become a professional basketball player or football player is if you've got the talent, the strength, determination, to be the best, to keep practicing, to keep doing all that. You can accomplish anything if you set your mind to it. And if I can get used to dentures, all the shit that I went through with having sepsis, losing healthy teeth, getting full mouth dentures, it's, it sucked in the beginning, but I know I'm stronger than a piece of plastic. And I'm not going to let a piece of plastic dictate my life. So I was like, all right, how do I fix the looseness? Okay, cool. Soft reliner. I learned everything on my own. Everything on my own. Everything was trial and error. You learn everything, and then when I know for a fact, 
I make videos and I help people and I pass it along to make their life better. Because let's be real, dentists don't tell us anything. But moving along so it's not late, I do want to do the giveaway. So it's going to be three winners that are going to win the Dr. B kit. So you get the cleaning up paste, the adhesive, the liquid crystals, the brush, the wipes. You get all that. Um, so it's going to be three winners. Um, and when you guys are done watching this video fully through, I want you to like the video. And then the comment section, put done. And then I want you to email me. My email, of course, I'll put it every other spot. You can find it in the description of the video. I'll put it in the comment section pinned up. But it's B-Y-R-N-E-S-1223 at gmail.com. And, of course, you can rewind that and listen to that again and do it that way. Um, but I think it's a great opportunity for people, especially people who have never tried it before or ordered it, to give a try for Dr. B's and see how well you like it. Because it does make a world of a difference. And you'll see it when you try it. It's actually stuff that works. You know, and something that actually kills harmful bad bacteria. I think it's lightning outside. If you see my lights flickering, it's been thundering hardcore, so sorry. So make sure, guys, when you watch this video fully through, you also like, comment done, you email me, email me your full name, full address, the whole how you would put it on an envelope, and um, go from there. You can put anything else you want in there, but I need that information. Because normally, I, the reason why I do email now is because when I try to get a hold of people on here, they don't answer. So I tell people, you, if I email you, say that you won, you have 24 hours to answer. Or in the comments section, if I comment to you saying, hey, you won, you have 24 hours to answer. Well, so many people weren't paying attention or watching the comments and they lost out. So now I strictly do email only with their full name and address. So I have all the information. They still have 24 hours to contact me um, if they do win. But I think it's been a long time since I've done a Dr. B giveaway. Like full kits, multiple winners. It's been a few months. So if you guys want to get in on it, especially if you never tried it before, never ordered from them, and you want to see if you can win the entire kit to see for yourself what the hype is freaking about. Because, I mean, why would you waste money on tabs that don't actually do anything? They don't. And when people say, oh, it whitens it, it just means it lifts stains. It can whiten plastic. Your teeth are plastic. Um, so whatever teeth, like say you picked out B2 at the dentist's office. They made a B2 like mine is. If you go to use tabs because your teeth are stained by like coffee, smoking, whatever it's stained, even food. Um, which I've never... I'll get to that in a minute. But if it's stained by whatever and you use tabs, it's not going to brighten it to the brightest shade of dentures. Or B1. It's going to bring it back to the shade you originally chose. So it doesn't do anything different unless it lifts stains and it kills odor causing bacteria, not harmful bacteria. Because you put a device in your mouth, your hands is whatever, touching that, you put it on anything. So many people tell me they just leave it on their nightstand and their dogs eat them, but put them on their nightstand and they just leave it anywhere. That's so disgusting. And then you put it in your mouth and it's so many germs, especially with COVID guys, like don't do that. Um, make sure you guys clean your dentures twice a day like you would your teeth. And also clean your gums twice a day. But if you want to get on this giveaway, I sure as hell would if I were you. Um, Cause you get an entire kit of free products that you don't spend money into at all. And it, it shows you what products are out there that are amazing for dentures. And you can have a better quality of life. Like I know people get that get thrush a lot, and which happens with dentures, especially if not cleaned properly. Well, liquid crystals actually kills the candida, you know, yeast to it that causes thrush. So a lot of people now don't get thrush anymore because they use it. Definitely a big benefit, guys. So definitely put in for the giveaway if you guys want to get in on it. Um, as far as I know, it's USA only. If it is Canada, I will add that. So make sure you definitely keep watching the pinned comments or when I comment things on here. Like, you know, the community board, when you pop on, you get a news feed on YouTube. Well, if you go to my YouTube channel, go to community, and it'll show you all the posts that I make, and you can keep an eye out from there. Um, but I normally post it in quite a few areas. But for as far as I know, it's USA only. 
um, for right now. I know there's been a lot of restrictions lately. A lot of places have restrictions. And more places that can't ship out to other countries now. I don't know what the hell's going on. They act like it's new to COVID, but I don't know. But I'm going to end this on... What day is this? Tuesday? I'll put it up now. We're going to make it quick. I'm going to end it also on Friday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and then at midnight, I will go through, or the next morning I'll go through, pick whoever out. Um, give me about a day or so to do that. Because I have to go through everybody's stuff to make sure they did everything put inside and go from there. Because I like to, for the people that did follow the directions, I like to give it to them opposed to picking people that didn't. Because they're the ones that made the effort to follow the giveaway. So, watch the video fully through, guys. And do the things put onto the comments and you'll be good to go. But don't forget, not just this video, but the video before it. I put down that, it's in, not in the video that I did the giveaway. I put it in a post that I did a giveaway there. Also ends at the same time, Friday, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you watch the video fully through, you want to get on the giveaway that I chose to do on my own. Um, that will be... And Friday, I think you have to put done and whatever else. I made the post already. If you go, like I said, you go to my YouTube channel, go to the community, you'll see the post I have there. So if you put in for both of them, you have a better chance to win it, you know? But I love you guys. Have a safe day. God bless and have a healthy, happy day. Later, guys.